Hi, boys and girls. How are you? It seems forever. I really miss you. I miss you all so much. And I'm thinking, hmm, I would love to read you guys a story. So, I went grocery shopping at Giant today and I found a watermelon. It is the first watermelon that I was able to buy in a long time. So I got home and I thought of this book that I'd like to read to you. Are you ready? All right, the title of my book is called The Watermelon Seed by Greg Pizzoli. What do we call the person that writes the words? The author, good job. Here's the title page, The Watermelon Seed. I love watermelon. It's the best. Do you like watermelon? Ever since I was a teeny, tiny baby crocodile, it's been my favorite. I like it for breakfast, I like it for lunch, I like a big salty slab for dinner, and I love it for dessert. He loves watermelon. Oh, I love watermelon. I just swallowed a seed. Uh-oh. I swallowed a seed. It's growing in my guts. Soon, vines are gonna come out of my ears. My stomach will stretch. My skin will turn pink. I don't want to be in a fruit salad. Somebody please help me. Uh-oh, I see this. Speech bubble, what does a speech bubble mean? Somebody's talking and he's not really happy. Oh no, I could feel it growing inside me. It's happening right now. My stomach feels funny. Uh-oh. Who wants to make a prediction? A prediction's a good guess about what's about to happen. Let's see. Oh, here's the seed. That was too close. No more melon for me. Never again. Well, maybe just a teeny tiny bite. He didn't swallow a seed that time. So boys and girls, is it okay if you swallow a seed from a watermelon? It is. I hope you enjoyed my story and made my heart happy that I can read a story to you. And I hope to see you very soon. Mwah.